technically sharp here. Decided I needed to make a stabilizer to stabilize the materials that I use on knife scales. So I went to Harbor Freight. I got a little vacuum uh, brake bleeder pump. Uh, I went over to Bergen's Hardware Store around the corner from my house, picked up pressure fitting, a couple of uh, nuts, and a uh, mason jar. And step one is going to be to punch my washers out of this little piece of rubber gasket material that I have, uh, which I'm getting ready to do now. And you'll have to forgive me because I can't hold the video camera and punch the gasket at the same time. So that the uh, watchers are made, we will proceed to drill a hole in the center of the mason jar lid and then uh, mount the little uh, fixture the nipple that we have in order to be able to attach the vacuum hose from the uh, Harbor Freight brake uh, vacuum pump. The hole is drilled. Uh, the first part of my nipple assembly is put together. It's not going to fit through this hole. Then once it's through this hole, I will place the other gasket on the opposite side and then bolt it together. And that will make the lid of the uh, chamber that I'm making out of the uh, mason jar in order to hold my uh, uh, hardening liquid and to put my stock into in order to uh, stabilize either the, uh, the bone, the horn, or the actual wood that I'm going to be using for the knife scales. There is my uh, lid with the uh, fitting and the hose in place. And after lunch, I will try it. And I'll get back and let you all know how well uh, this gonna, is going to work. Uh, basically, I'm going to use this mason jar together with my, my hardening liquid inside it with my uh, knife scales. And then I will close the jar and then I will attach the uh, pump on this side and with the actual uh, wood hardener and pieces of wood inside I will pump this until I get to uh, uh, 23 uh, mercury units uh, and then watch the replacement of the air uh, as the air bowls out and the uh, actual hardener goes into the material. Um, I'll make another little video showing that later or actually I'll, I'll tag it on to the end of this one so that you can see the process and um, that's a stabilizer and the whole thing cost me less than 30 bucks. So, have a good day. Well, here we go. And you can see the foam starting to uh, come up. That's the air coming out of the actual wood being replaced by the resin. We're now up to uh, 15 on the scale. And what I have in there is some scrap pieces of uh, figured maple. Maple not being quite as dense as some of the other woods that I use. Uh, it is not falling down to the bottom, but as the air comes out uh, and it starts filling with resin, it should sink. You can see the bubbles.
And we are now approximately uh, 17 and a half mercury. And about two minutes into this process. The idea to construct this uh, vacuum infuser uh, came out of the book uh, Handle and Cards. Um, it uh, gives a brief explanation of it. And I searched around and I really couldn't find anything more on it. Uh, so I took and created it and I'm now recording the process. I have found a couple of other types of uh, vacuum infusers uh, looking on the internet made out of PVC uh, creating a uh, chamber but you can't really see it. I did find one commercially made unit uh, well over a hundred dollars without the pump and as I said earlier this whole uh, system has not cost me over 30 bucks. going to uh, switch hands. It takes quite a bit of pumping. I'm hoping to achieve 23 mercury. But I don't seem to quite be able to get there. I'm just below 20. And that's probably going to be the best that I'm going to get. Uh, I'm going to let it set here uh, probably for about an hour or so to see how long it takes for the uh, bubbles to stop uh, extracting out of the uh, actual wood. I would believe that a process like this might take an hour, maybe two hours, uh, in order to make sure that the uh, hardener goes into uh, the, the wood and infuses uh, within the voids uh, quite well. So I'm going to sit here and, and pump for a little while longer. I'm going to stop the video and then I'll show it again uh, toward the end of the process. Well, here we are after uh, about an hour. Uh, the two smaller pieces are the ones that have been in the, uh, the uh, infusion chamber and the piece sitting next to it is another uh, cutoff piece that I have of uh, uh, maple so that you can compare the before and after look of the actual wood. So now that we've seen how it works, uh, hopefully you got enough information so you can make your own, and good luck. Thank you very much. See you next time.